hey welcome back so in here what we want to do is uh, put back that issue of something changed and then the button here becomes active uh, because we messed that up once we removed what was here so let's try and do that now um, things will be a little bit different in this case because um, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so things will be a little bit different because I want to change how uh, we display content. So instead of having a div that's separate for each of these tabs, we're just going to have the same div down here. And then we'll just reload with new information depending on the tab that we have clicked. Okay, so uh, in order to do that, we'll just, let's put an ID on this one. Um, actually, there's no need. Uh, let me just remove all of these guys here for a second. Okay, so we are in the courses view file. So I've removed all of this and here instead of uh, adding many divs i'm just going to add div number one like so let's move that in and this one will just be called tabs content okay that's the id it's going to have div tab not necessary because we're not even uh we're not actually using this for anything so it depends you can use this as a class or an id really doesn't matter so tabs content we're going to use that instead so copy that and i'm just going to go down here and uh, let's see so set tab here is the key so there's nothing left to loop through because there's only one item this time Okay, and we're not doing any hide or displaying the div. There's just one div, so it will always be active. So no need to hide anything. So this whole code from here is irrelevant. So I'm just going to remove this part here. I will leave the last one. So just say document.query selector and put uh, that tabs content because that's the ID and then instead of adding a class list I'm just going to say dot in a HTML will be equal to let's just uh, put the tab name in there so that we know that it has shifted to another tab simple and straightforward so refresh now if I click you see it shows me that we are on this tab so you see the content change from the same div when I do this. All right. But what I want is to be able to um, let me do this. Let me say var content to be able to add an input in there. So I'll say input and then I'm just going to this is pretty much all I need, just the input and tab name as well. So copy this, I'll just say tab name plus input like that, and then put the content here. Okay, so refresh, let's click that and then I get an input like so. So I just want to know when the input is clicked, etc, etc, what happens. So at this point, um, this is all good. But before we do all of this here, uh, let's get back to our code here and see what we can remove or not. So instead of return, I'll just do this. So tab is equal to tab and then we store the tab name. This is fine so that we know where we are at. Now, if dirty, if something was typed there your changes were not saved and then um, 
So this code here is where we are changing the active tab. So here, this is the code where it says change active tab. So we only do this right at the end. So let's leave everything. Uh, all of this should move away from the top. And let's just try to add it after dirty here and paste it. We'll come back to it to see where it should be uh, taken appropriately. Okay. So the set tab here and then show tab, right? Uh huh. So let's do that. Instead, let's grab these guys. Wait a minute. There's tab name there. Mm -hmm. The problem is we are using a, an element there. So hmm, I need to change things a little bit. Okay, so let me grab this guy. Mm -hmm. Cut from there. Let's put it in here instead. So we're going to remove all of this uh, bootstrap stuff. We don't need this. It doesn't work anyway. We re deleted all the bootstrap stuff. Okay, so change active tab, show tab, right? And we are supplied with the tab name. So that's good. Now, since we don't have div here, let's create it. So I'm just going to say var div is going to be equal to, since we've been, hmm, wait a minute. Yes, we have the tab name. So let's use that to our advantage. We're just going to say document dot query selector and let's grab the item with that tab name with that as an ID like so and that becomes div and then the kids will be div dot parent node to children. So this works just fine. And then finally div dot class list dot add active tab. OK, so that works pretty well and then the content changes we add some new content and then disable the button okay this looks uh, pretty good all right so here let's come back to this and so we are setting the tab not showing it but just setting the current tab so i'm going to say tab tab name we add to the session and then we check um we won't actually need this set timeout anyway. This was because Bootstrap has its own issues uh, that we couldn't solve. We don't need this div anymore um, because we have its ID anyway. So no need. Let's just remove it. And um, let's see here. When something changes, we just add dirty. Okay disable save button okay so this is useful but here your changes were not saved continue so if now you tab is equal to dirty where does dirty come from here in this case oh okay okay set from the other side uh something changed dirty is equal to tab Hmm, where is tab first set? I'm confused here. Okay, so session, blah, 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 or intended learners. Okay, so tab has a hash at the beginning, which we don't normally have here. So let me remove that hash. Okay. Uh, the reason I've removed that hash is because the other tab names, when we say set tab, comes just as the ID name itself without the hash. So um, we need it like that. Okay, so intended learners, that's good. And uh, dirty is equal to false. Okay, that's fine. And here we get from storage or we set it, wait, session storage, get tab. Okay, that's fine. And then now tab becomes when we set the tab, it becomes that and then we save it in the session okay that's fine so dirty is set whenever we edit something so uh, this is all good here but then show tab here 
uh, we don't need this actually because here we are supposed to because the reason we needed this is because when we click using uh, bootstrap immediately the tab is shifted without our consent uh, in this case it doesn't happen because it can only happen at the end so changes we are not saved continue then if we tell the user to continue then they can just show a new tab dirty is equal to false why is this here this is weird the changes were not saved continue so if i do not want to continue and to cancel and stay on the current page then this is where we have a problem so in this case let me remove the uh, not so if i continue and say okay i say yes i want to shift things uh that's when duty becomes false okay so my bad there sorry um hmm okay no let's remove that actually i was right so here what we need to do is let me mute this code i don't want to find out that i needed it and i deleted it so let's do this and let's say not so if i cancel nothing should happen everything just left as it is but if i say yes i want to continue then dirty is equal to false and then we disable this button but i think we should show the new tab so i'm just going to say show new tab but because the button will be disabled anyway when we show a new tab i don't need to write this so i'm just going to do that show tab and the tab name there uh, yeah set tab so set tab happens immediately we click a tab okay so we shouldn't change the current tab before we confirm if we are actually moving to that new tab so here if we are moving to that new tab that's when we set the new tab so i'll put this here All right, so let's see if this works at all. Uh, new tab, show. Okay, let's try it out. So if I go to this one, oops, we have an error now. Okay, so no error at all. If I click here. Okay, so I didn't set what happens if dirty is not. So there's no dirt here. So if there is none, um we what do we do hmm. actually let's do this instead of putting a lot of else if statements let's um click here let's move these guys copy and put them down here i don't want to put another else statement here it gets a bit confusing Okay, so this happens by default. We set dirty is equal to false, we show the new tab, and we save the new tab. Okay, that's fine. But if there was some dirt, or we needed to save something, we'll ask the question, your changes are not saved, do you want to continue? If you cancel, nothing happens. If you continue and say, oh, oh, wait. If you cancel, nothing happens. But if you continue, we do this right okay so my bad here let's remove all of this here and here what we're going to do is just return yeah i think that saves us mm -hmm. good refresh so let's try this don't try this at home wait what happened the first time okay so let me try and uh, write something. So right now I can just move around freely, but if I type something, if I click, your changes were not saved, let's cancel. And we are still here. Okay, changes not saved, cancel. But what if we want to save the changes or we want to continue still? Boom, we've gone to another page. If I come back here, you see it's empty now, like that. So things are much simpler, I guess continue and we've continued continue cancel so this is much cleaner than we had with the bootstrap actually so 
good thing we changed it. We have more control of our code because everything we created ourselves. Okay, so everything here is working as intended now. We can show a tab. Uh, yep, everything is working fine. Great. So we are back to square one again. Very nice. Now what we want to do is when I click on a curriculum here or a tab, it should load the new content. Okay, so we're going to add a loader to show that it's loading and then we load the new content. All right, I'll see you in the next video.